Yo, what's up? It's Retrobat returning to Orcs Must Die, deciding to make a little series out of it because I woke up excited to play this game. I did my first impressions yesterday, didn't really give it a score out of 10, which I kind of regret. If I were to go back, I'd probably give it somewhere in that 8 to 9 range, probably 9. For like first hour of just enjoyment and fun and leisure, probably a 9, like a really, really high score. Now, something I do need to do is actually go back and play the baths on War Mage difficulty. I played it a little bit off camera on Apprentice on accident, which says two skull limit, so you actually can't get more than two skulls when playing on that difficulty. So, mistake by me, but I died on my actual run on this. I want to go ahead and try to do this again. It's the one where you have the toxic pits on the side, and you can kind of use the wind belt to foos roda them off on the side. I also did actually unlock a new unit, the Archer Guardian, which seems to be similar to a turret like I was kind of talking about before, something similar to Dungeon Defenders. However, the main issue is with them is that they can die. That's something I've kind of been experimenting with, so they can actually be killed, but they're also revived at certain checkpoint waves. I need to learn, I need to come to understand what dictates a checkpoint wave and why the game gives you a little bit of time to recoup on certain waves i don't know if it's like if you just do half the waves i don't know why that's the case i don't know what's causing that and i want to figure it out so i'm gonna go ahead and do the normal setup of just these things and then they always come around to these edges so i'm gonna go ahead and place spike traps like this and then again over here in the middle but a lot of them might sneak through here so we'll eventually add more spike traps honestly here but i'm fine to show ahead and start this one of the biggest things is uh speed on this as well so yeah it seems like the upgrade these are now poison spike traps which is really cool i believe due to the upgrade that i that i you know spent my skull points essentially onto them and I, this is what i was looking for man some more orc bashing fun it's just already so it's just it really is a how do you explain this mechanically satisfying game but still quite relaxing I, I don't know how they get this perfect mix of feeling this is a game based on feeling man and they do a great 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 job all right i ended up getting five skulls on the last map and i still didn't spend any of them so i'm sitting on them for my upgrades unfortunately my recording software did crash we're gonna jump to the next levels this is finally a fresh level for this episode which is nice and we have a new enemy coming in in the cobalt runner Fast enemy who sprints for the rift, and he looks absolutely gnarly with his split tongue draping over his teeth. So we'll see how uh, how it is to handle him. Now I've already kind of planned out my strategy for this map. I'm actually gonna go, I'm actually gonna go tar pits over arch guardian, since I feel like especially with the kobolds it might be useful. Versus I don't plan on using the guardians at all. Now there are two doors on this map, one over here and then one over here. There's also a high ground area that I don't know if minions can use yet. I feel like it might just be there for the player. But I don't know if minions will actually be smart enough to take this high ground. There's a staircase over here that the orts, theoretically, they can go up. But I don't know if they're actually, their AI is built to do that. So what I'm just going to do is kind of build, what I say in Dungeon Defenders, I'm going to build inward to outward. Which essentially means starting from the point of safety, the point you need to defend, and then building outward. I should be safe to go ahead and place... Wow some spike traps or some wall traps here i also don't need to build any spike traps on the floor here because they cost 300 gold each and they would like most take care of most of the floor area but i'd rather just build these which take care of the entire hallway by far um for the, the same amount as you know the same amount of uh gold or what do you want to call it currency versus 300 a piece you know 30 so 600 for to do that versus 600 to do this i'd rather take this all day so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i do want to actually build one here just in case it's looking into this direction just in case they can for whatever reason take the staircase and go on that high ground i want to be prepared just in case other than that we'll just have that built out and i'm gonna go ahead and press g it should be totally fine and we hadn't seen this door busted down yet but these guys the kobolds come in mighty fast I feel like they die from anything that isn't even a headshot, but I could be wrong. They're just one shot. What? Okay, that was cool. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect that. He was so fast, he dodged the arrows from the arrow wall. Okay, that was something I didn't expect to have to deal with. That's actually pretty amazing. Um, because of that, I probably am going to have to build tar pits like in front of them or in like this secondary area. That was actually pretty nuts. That was really cool. That's a cool mechanic. 
And that might be the downside to using the arrow walls as opposed to the spike traps. It's maybe less consistent with what it hits. That was actually, like, that gets me excited seeing something like that. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and build tar pits. I don't know if I want to build them, like, over in this third section, like, where I want to build them at. Probably here and here. And that should catch most things, I assume. Let's see. Next wave, once again, just kind of coming from the long way. Door just fine. Obviously, it's longer for them to come and make it down this long hallway. It's slower for me to defeat the wave itself or the level itself. But I'd rather play it a little safer. Especially my first attempt, you know. I'd rather play it safer than have to redo everything because of a dumb build error. A lot of guys coming in. We'll pop off some nice little free headshots. A barrel would go hard here. I'm not going to lie. I want to, like, kind of bop them in with my avatar abilities. We'll pop shot these guys. We'll all this stuff. We'll just spray these guys down as the arrows recharge on the wall itself. That works for me. This is a lot of orcs. I will say, for wave two, that is a solid amount of bad guys. And now the next doorway is open as well. All of this on the second wave. Okay. Power level is increasing, I will say. Wow, this is actually a huge... Okay. We're going to pop over to our airbender abilities. That is a huge difference. Uh, something I can do. I didn't really think about this, but having... Honestly, having wall spots there to take care of anything coming from this. I didn't even think about having these for, like, the long way protection. But, yeah, having these to hit the enemies the long way, as well as taking care of these guys. I mean, that's just... That's super, super efficient. I, don't, I didn't even think about it almost, so... That works out perfectly. This is the first wave where we're going to have, I assume, yeah, enemies coming from both sides. I want to take care of the Kobolds a little bit before. Because they're because of how fast they are. I feel like they're a lot scarier to if they if they pass through. If they manage to get through, they're a lot harder to deal with versus the orcs I can catch up to and pop some headshots on them. It's at least nice that the Kobolds... Perfect. At least nice that the Kobolds die in one shot, no matter what, essentially. There we go. Plus 2,500. I got a lot of points there just for defending that. Uh, it's arguable that I could put one here. That only takes care of guys coming in from that direction, but I'm fine to go ahead and do that. And we'll place extras over here. Is it worth placing that one high up? I feel like the kobolds... That's interesting. I feel like the kobolds' height is short enough to where it would actually just go under. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then probably build a slow one like here. That should be pretty solid. I like this build so far. We're going to press G. Is just backup support just in case. I'm pretty happy with this build so far. There's no upgrading of the towers after they're placed. Like other tower defense games like Dungeon Defenders. And I am starting to understand. Like this game is very fun. It's very arcadey. And it's very casual. And that's kind of... I would argue it can be a strength. Or a reason you play it over something like Dungeon Defenders. Oh my god. That's a lot of orcs. But is it, like, better than something like Dungeon Defenders is the question? Probably not. Like, I, Dungeon Defenders is probably the better game, the deeper the deeper game, you know, which, in my opinion, makes things harder to be. I, I think a deeper game is a better game in a lot of ways, but it depends. It depends on, obviously, just because it's a better game doesn't mean you want to play it all the time. Doesn't mean you're in the mood for it that day, you know? I think this is a game that you would play in a, in a totally different mood. It's almost in uncomparable to Dungeon Defenders, I guess, because it's not really fair. Would you compare something like Dig Dug to something like Skyrim? Like, both are fantastic games, but for very, very different reasons, you know? I guess that's what I think. I think I think more of Dig Dug style when, I think, when, I, when I'm sitting here playing Orcs Must Die, I guess. I'm going to add another tar pit. Probably here, I guess. We're getting further and further back, which is kind of funny. What is happening over here? Just a bunch of guys chilling. I'm sure to let them make their way over here. I'm in no rush. I could, like, I could even place a explosive barrel. I could try to get some points with those. There's a lot of, a lot of orcs here. Explosive barrels might be really good. Let's see if I can get them all towards this, and then... There we go. That was a pretty big barrel. I'm pretty, ha pretty satisfied with that. 11 kill streak. How's that not a headshot? That's okay. That was, that was the whole wave. Okay. So nothing came from this one this time. Interesting. I'm okay with it taking a little longer. Let's just go ahead. Honestly, at this point, like, I think tar, tar traps and spike traps are probably ideal here. Place another one of these. Got 600. I'll have to run back if any of them make it. I think I'll take damage from the... I'm pretty sure I take damage from my own traps. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I think I should have tested that a little more concisely earlier into this game. But what are you going to do? They're all coming in. I'll let them come in. 
then I'll try to start blasting away to get that kill streak going. I need a 20 to 20 kill streak. I need a 20, 20, 20, 20. Uh, not even. No, back to 10 though. Back to 10. Back to 10. Back to 10. Uh, I can't get there, man. I would love to get a 20 kill streak going at some point. I could, I could try to air blast them all back and just build them up to get that kill streak going. We'll grab that potion. Why not? Take care of the kobold. Okay, can we get the kill streak here? Probably not. Yeah. Uh, I would love to at some point get that 20 kill streak. It seems like a lot of people have gotten that achievement. It seems like a lot of people just played this game for a, for a long time. Like. It makes sense. I like, think arcade games, you're less likely to quit early on. You're less likely to get overwhelmed. But, like, this is one of those games where, like, I think 77% of people or something. Oh, I got five stars on that? I didn't expect that for whatever reason. I think, like, I can actually just check the achievements. 77% of players killed a thousand orcs. That's pretty impressive. Like, that takes, uh, like, three or four maps. That takes probably an hour and a half of gameplay. If 77% of your players are getting through hour and a half of gameplay... Wildly impressive in my opinion All right, but after that victory, let's just go ahead and check out our upgrades and just keep trying to learn more things and stack more mechanics 14 to upgrade this guy our charges are cheaper. How much cheaper? Becomes a pretty interesting question. I'm gonna save my skulls. It seems like Everything keeps getting more and more expensive to upgrade. I'm happy to just save my skulls. Honestly I don't really need them right now. I reach a point where it's actually hard for me to beat something, you know. Fair enough, maybe I'll spend it. But, like, yeah, you've been granted barricade. Okay, so a new tower unlocked as well. Getting that new tower every single map is satisfying. What is this? Ah, that's a pretty complicated mechanic to implement. So, wait, okay, I feel like the, the power creep from the last map to this map is pretty crazy. The skill level from this map to the last map is wild. Implementing a portal... To which re to reposition yourself. Like, at least we're doing this with um, with only one. So will the minions actually go up here? It seems like when the blue arrow or the blue little path is like this, it's like the minions will make their way up here. The minions will go both of these directions. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to defend two different two different hallways, I believe. Interesting. I'm pretty sure. Show me like the blue path. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to defend two hallways here. First things first, I can go ahead and do... What's well, first things first? Actually, equip... Wait a minute, our things. Um, what is this? Place the enemy to block enemy's path. Barricade. It's 800 points. I'm... I want to try it. I want to try it for sure. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna go that over tar trap. Uh, so we'll do barrel. I can just do both, I guess. Yeah, I'm fine to do both. I'm fine with that. We're getting more and more hotkeys as it goes on, which is also interesting. More tower variety in one single map. I need to be running back to my rift to heal more. If I ever take damage, it's like super worth to go do that. So, okay, I can't really take advantage of... I'm not really going to be able to take advantage of like a dual choke point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this looking long ways. Can I actually have two of those if I place that to the side? That's probably hyper worth it. Yeah, so if I have two of these, that's perfect. Or, well, having one hit both? I think I think this is better to have full coverage. And then I can go ahead and have something like this. Hurt a lot. And then what I'll probably do is build a barrier. How am I going to shoot them around this corner, though? That's the only issue is like, yeah, that's actually kind of an annoyance. Is that number one, it's going to be hard for me to fully aim. I guess I'll probably just stand here. But I can't get too far over. I'll get my own damage. Also, I'm assuming that these deal damage to the barricades. So if I put these, because I'm pretty sure they hit the, they hit the explosive barrels. So if I put these here... I'm pretty sure these will get, like, eventually probably destroyed, would be my guess, by my own towers. But I have to be really careful about how I place that stuff. I need protection over here as well. I wonder if this is a map... I almost... Oh, I almost fell. I almost wonder if this is a map where it's worthwhile to just, like, play more aggressive. I guess that's fine. And, like, play more up front. I feel like it might be to like stop the choke point. But the issue is how do you do that? I'm gonna start off by doing this. I'm gonna build a ton of spikes. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm not even gonna worry about a, and I'll do one there. That's fine. I like this. I like this start. Let's see how it works. I feel like I obviously don't have nearly enough protection so far to truly protect everything, but I'm gonna play up front here. I can also have a lot of boops here into Okay, only one at a time there is not great, but I should have a lot of uh, room for boops into the toxic. 
little sections like this. Or like if I jump over here, get a little boop like this. It'd be pretty solid. I have to watch my map to see if enemies are if, if any enemies are going to make it. If there's some enemies are they heading over to the rift right now? No no the rift's here. I think they just died from other other means. Okay, we're fine. Nothing made it to the rift there, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think the Rift's HP, I haven't seen it lose HP yet, but I wonder if, I need to build way more traps, I'm not prepared for this. I wonder if, um, the Rift's HP, That's gonna leave a mark. I'm sorry, I have to like panic build so I don't miss out on this. Uh, what I could do as well is have wall tower, that's actually kind of genius to have wall things there. These guys are getting super through. Okay, Ooh. he just quoted Charlie Sheen. The character just said winning, which is pretty crazy. I respect it. Now we're gonna put that there to help take care of some of those. That's pretty wild. Once you give them access to the high ground, it changes the difficulty a ton. But yeah, what I was trying to say was, I think the HP in the top section is the 20 number. So I think if 20 enemies, regardless of variety, so regardless of if they're orcs, kobolds, archers, whatever, Regardless of enemy variety, I think that, uh... I'm so distracted I can't speak, so apologies. Um, oh, there's some guy- wait, Cobalt gonna make it. I think regardless of enemy variety... If 20 enemies make it to the rift, I think it's an L. I think- I assume that's how that's gonna function. That would be my guess, okay. I really wanna have this side protected so that I can go defend that one without having to stress about this. I'm gonna do an extra one there. I'll do spike traps up here. Okay, with all of that protection there, I'm gonna press G. I should be fine. I'll even put backups over here. With all of that protection, I wanna just get to stand in here. My goal is to get enough protection up to where I can just stand here and protect. I guess I could start up front and then move to the back. There's so many, so many things coming in. Not able to group up or get that many in a blast yet. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty healthy blast. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see anything making it to the rift yet. We're doing okay. There's a there's a bunch coming on this staircase. Or no no no. They all got killed, I think. They're all coming from this section. It's hard to tell with the map as well when it's 3D like this and you have them coming from that high ground. But yeah, I think that's a bunch actually making it over. Yeah, like this many things got through? No way. Okay, we're gonna place a wall trap then. Really? This many guys got through the setup I had over there? At least it's like multiple waves so I can kind of finish that section and come over here and handle That's That is insane. That's actually crazy that that many got through. I want to build double barricade here. So I can have that taken care of. I guess that's going to be the real benefit of barricade is just having the... Reducing the stress of having to worry about them getting to the rift. Is there a toxic pool over there? Yeah, there is actually. Okay, I haven't been using that at all then. I should have been. Oh, I need to heal. This is a good example of... I'm going to head over to the rift to heal. So watch my, my HP in the top left. I should do that whenever I need to. I don't have enough. It's 800 for the barricade. It's so much. You really don't get, like, currency that fast in this game. Let me loop around them. Shoot them from behind and blast them into the wall. I'm gonna boop him down. That actually kind of works. Anything over here? Not quite. We're gonna take them out before they can get there. You can kill a lot with your hand-to-hand -hand weapons. I get why there's so many orcs. Like, you're meant... Like, this is not a game. I guess one of the things you can do in, uh... Dungeon Defenders is get so strong with your towers that you can kind of just chill. And you don't even have to, um, like, do that much actually. You can, you can make your character really, really physically weak and just rely on... Sorry, I'm focused on aiming. And just rely on your towers. You can't really do that in this game. This game is probably more so action-based. Way more action, way more combat-based than Dungeon Defenders. And I don't think you're able to reach a point where you can fully rely on your towers. Maybe I'm incorrect. So one of the kobolds reached the rift. To the top right-hand corner. You can see, uh, what did it drop? What is this? Just currency? Sick. Yeah, one of the guys actually reached the rift, unfortunately. That's so sad. I'm not going to lie. Because of that, I'm going to place extra defenses there. That's unfortunate, dude. I wonder if I can... Can I just place a barrier, like, here? 
in the middle and then they just can't get to it? I don't know if that would actually work though. And then what's gonna kill it if they get stuck there? You know, probably not much, so whatever. Um, we're gonna place more spike traps over here. Like this. This is looking pretty good. We have 500 more points. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit though. I'll place an extra one here. Sure. Just in case of emergencies. We're gonna come over here and actually fight now. We're gonna place a lot more wall traps as well along this wall. I should be using this. Yeah, this is like a huge... Being able to blast them that way is pretty crazy. That's a really big blast as well. Gonna run backwards. Oh, a big kill streak here. I, I can't keep it up though. 13 was what I got to there. Kobolds, man. The kobolds are the scary ones. Like, those getting through, I mean, it's still... That's still a full enemy touching the rift, so if they get through, that's a huge problem. Nothing from that side so far. We're just going to focus on this section. Blast these guys to bits. I like that you can spray and pray with the crossbow when they're close range. I think that's kind of funny. I like that you're rewarded for taking a sec. Imagine if this crossbow didn't have that mechanic of like taking a sec to make your aim. It would change the game drastically. Just like one little change like that changes things so drastically. Those guys are still alive in the pool, technically. There's one guy left, I think. Yeah, he's up on the high ground. We'll have to just make our way around, I think. Well, I think. Where's he going now? Now I'm getting... No, is he on the low ground? Where, where's he going? There he is. Okay. That's the whole level complete. Okay. Pretty easy level. I did take one bit of damage, so I don't think I get five stars here. Do you get four stars if you take any damage at all? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. That's actually a good thing. I mean, I like to see that, so... It is ideal, and you do want to work on not taking any damage at all. What's the benefit here? Barricades are cheaper. I really don't know what to upgrade. At this point, do I go ahead and do the trigger from further out? I don't I don't love that. I don't like that that's the upgrade. Because I want more damage, or I want more arrows, or... Like, technically... Man. Short snare. Technically, if they shoot from further out, I guess they'll reload faster. I just don't think this upgrade's that good. I'm pretty much just holding on to my upgrades at this point, which is kind of funny. But, I mean, yeah. The barrels felt, I will say, like, pretty strong. You'd think they would be, like, a pretty weak thing since, um, they cost 200 or whatever. It's also one of those things where, like, they're super, super engaging and super skill-orientated. And, which I, I like. If you can get rewarded for that, I mean, it's pretty solid. I think, once again, I'm literally just going to keep my skulls, which is so dumb. I'm just not really finding... I'm not finding an upgrade that I really like. I feel like the upgrade that I'm leaning towards the most right now would probably be the barrels. Spring trap. Okay, we should, we should always wait after completing a map. We probably shouldn't upgrade after completing a map because we can always wait and see what the next trap is going to be. Spring trap. Resets after firing. Place on the floor. It's just, I assume it's going to spring them, you know? Resets after firing. How long does it take to reset? I definitely want to try out the spring trap. So we're like spring trap plus this plus the wind belt could be a really sick combo. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there's some crazy strategies that actually could be developed here. Spring trap into like maybe tar pit. Like I could even see tar pit being useful if we upgrade that with like slowing them down more. But do we need R and spring trap? Probably not. Is one better than the other? Good question. Man, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. What enemies are coming in? Is it safe? Is it the. I just showed us for a sec. We know there is a new one. So there's orcs, crossbow orcs, and ogres. Takes lots of punishment. Counts for five rip points. Okay, this is gonna be like a big, a big boss type enemy. They gave us some free barrels here, which I like. That's very nice of them. There's a fair amount of barrels, actually. Can we pick up and move these? We actually can, yeah, if we need to, like, move these to a better location. That's very cool, starting the map with that. Okay, so how do we want to play this? There's two entrances and then two long hallways. Pretty simple, honestly. Um, and there's this middle section, which they can probably frolic between. And they, they can't jump off over here. Though. I don't think that's up for grabs. What I'm going to do... Let's just go ahead and mostly putting arrow traps on this side. I think it's going to be ideal. I think if we alternate them, it might be better as well. I don't know if it's like needed, but I'm going to alternate like that because maybe if some are closer to one side than the other, I don't know, maybe it triggers faster. I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and try that. And then same over here. We're going to do this. We're going to alternate. 
We want to pull back on this side because if they can frolic in between, we don't really know. If they can, it's better to have them on the back end. Once again, like building from inward to outward. I'm going to go ahead and place another one there. And probably another on the other side as well. It's going to leave me with only 200 points left. Like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just keep those points, I think. I could move some of those barrels a little more before starting here. I could pick this up, for example. Oh, you just pick it up like that. Like, Gary's mod style in terms of, like, picking up an item. That's kind of funny to me. I'm going to place that here, right in front of the spike trap so they can't auto-trigger it. This might be a good map, honestly, to go ahead and use our barrels on because we could get that achievement. Let's try to lure them in. Do a big explosion. Perfect. Yeah, I'm down to... Plus, like, the fact that, um... I mean, when you shoot a barrel, you kill a bunch of them. You get enough points back to, to work towards another barrel. I like that. You know, I don't know. Barrels are kind of good in this. You would think that a tower that doesn't stick around, like it just explodes and it's a one-use thing, you wouldn't think of it as being very good, but I kind of love them. Um, now, something I probably want to do here is place one down the long way like that. And I'll do the same on... Oh, I don't have enough points, but I'll do the same on that section when I have it. Well, now they're coming from this section only, so it seems like one section at a time. Can I go grab another barrel? We can go grab another barrel. Pick this up. I thought I picked it up. But it's very it's very loose. Place that there. Okay, well they, they they I think they smacked it with their axe. Didn't expect that to be a possibility, but sure. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Avatar wave blast them back and then try to shoot the barrel. But it's in between too many orcs. Okay, that works. That's kind of cool to get one a bunch in one big blast. Pretty happy with that off-the-fly thought, okay? Take them out. Next wave in five. I'm going to go ahead and place a backup one here. And then, honestly, I might just employ barrels for a lot of this map. Let's see. There's some. F I should use the free ones while I can. I'm going to place the, this one there. Place this one here. I'm going to use whatever free barrels I can. They're coming over from this direction got 600 points i could build another wall trap or build three like three barrels or one wall trap you know i kind of want to go barrels you know if i blast all these back they actually get blown up into it the barrels feel good dude like these guys i'll just let go i don't i don't need to use a barrel for them there's not that many of them there but the barrels i might i'm actually you know what yeah i've decided i'm definitely gonna upgrade the barrels dude they're so fun Oh, this could be a huge one. Nice. So the barrel does explode. If you hit it with the with the wave blast, it does seem to explode. I tried to build one there, but that's fine. You don't want to overuse the barrels though, because you want to let your you know you do have wall traps for a reason. I also don't know if I'm taking damage from my own wall traps. I don't know if that's something I like made up in my head or was like just over worried about. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and place some barrels. We have 3,300 points. That's ridiculous. Uh, we have some more barrels over here. We have plenty for now. I'll build them. Like, the fact that you can instant build... Barrels are so good in this game because you can instantly build them. You know? Like, that makes them incredible. Versus... In most other tower defense games, I'd argue, like... You have to... There's a, there's a cast time. At least in the dungeon defenders. I'd say I'd say in most tower defense games, there's a, there's a cast time, you know? You can instantly build something like that. So... It's pretty crazy to me. Um, I'm just gonna build extra walls. I, I could build, like, tar pits or something. Or I could try the springboards... Are they really going to be that good? I don't know, you know? I'll, tr I'll, tr I'll, build, I'll build one on each. Actually, well, no. If I'm going to place them... Wait a minute. I shouldn't place them like that. I should place them, like, all the way back here. I'll build a couple. I'll build one or two springboards. Just... I got to test them, you know? I don't think they're going to be that good, honestly. But I want to test them. I really want to test them. So, you know what? Let's do it for the fun of the game. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and we could have more things like this oh, yeah. or even like here. That's 600 points. Let's build on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and just press G to jump in this wave to hopefully at that part of time. Yeah, we'll just place one. I already have one there. Okay, interesting. Let's next one there. So here's the ogre. Okay. He takes a lot of damage. I can headshot him a bunch. I should have counted. I definitely should have counted how many... Oh, how many headshots he can tank. Can I blast him? I cannot. That makes sense. But good to know. 
Uh, we'll get him there. That didn't do that didn't do much at all. Okay, took care of him. It wasn't too bad, but I he take that was a I don't know, that was a lot of headshots. Definitely something to keep in mind. Is there another or no way? Wait, they gave us two? Oh no, it was just it was just neutral enemies. Okay, I was like that'd be pretty crazy if they gave us two ogres or whatever to start. That's actually pretty difficult. Uh, twelve hundred points. I want to build more barrels, man. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for it. I feel like the smart thing to do would be to uh, would be to build two wall traps, but hey, we're not we're not here to make the smart decisions, okay? Especially like, okay, I'm gonna build one here though. I don't think the um, dude, I don't think this thing, this ogre takes much damage at all from the barrel, which really stinks. Like the best strategy, okay. To be fair, he took so much damage from the wall trap. He just died instantly, I feel like. The wall traps just kind of took care of him. We're going to go do a little bit of dab of healing from the rift as we pass through. Spring trap doing some cool work there. How fast does the spring trap reload? I feel like it probably reloads really, really fast. Which is probably the benefit of it. That's pretty cool, honestly. If it reloads hyper fast, that could actually be like super powerful. A little health potion there that I don't need. Okay, since this is like an ogre map or whatever, I'm gonna build more wall traps, honestly. I need a couple more points to be able to do it here. Because the barrels just don't seem to do any damage or much at all to the ogre. Maybe they do and they, it's, it's just not visually easy to see. That's very possible. Very, very possible. We're gonna blast. Oh, I could blast them into this pit. Oh, what am I doing? Get a nice little blast there. Not bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We can go through this portal because I'm probably probably going to lead me somewhere closer to some more enemies. Yep. We'll blast that barrel. It's not great, but it's not bad. Don't think any enemies have gotten to the rift yet still, which is good at least. I want to build a barrel and explode it here. Nice. So, dude, wow. Okay, I will say barrels plus the belt actually work so well together, it seems. I feel like there's some guys that might get through here. Nope, the spring trap saved him. We're fine. The towers actually totally took care of this section. Whew, okay. Yeah, the the barrels with the wind trap is actually, or the wind belt is so nice because it moves the barrel with the horde of enemies you're pushing back. And they just all kind of explode together. That's like so, so, so nice. I'm going to place spike traps here just as like a last line of defense just in case. I like having that stuff, that safety net. Oh, I have these guys up here. I'll place another one. I have so I actually have so many points here, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna go grab more over here as well. I don't think there's any there's still none up here. That is so many points. Why do I I feel like that means I'm probably gonna need that many points, which scares me. But um For now we're okay with it. I, I don't like when the game gives me points because then it makes me feel like they think that I need them. <laughs> and that scares me with what's about to happen on the map. Okay, we have this. Can I push this? I probably can't win, win to push that barrel without it. Let me win to push these guys off like this. That works. Sure. Couple free kills. Let's take the portal. The portals feel pretty slick. Jump down here. Get a little black. Oh, that's a lot of guys. If I had a, yeah, if I have a barrel here... Yeah, that getting them in a group and then blasting them off with the barrel and get them all exploded feels super satisfying. Where are these guys? There's some guys over here doing some weird stuff. Okay, just archers, I guess. Archers archers also feel tankier than the normal orcs, which is strange. Okay, next wave in 13. That's totally fine. Uh, at this point, I just want to build barrels, honestly. And I have plenty of extra barrels on this side. I've got plenty of points. This map has actually felt pretty easy, dare I say it. We'll build one there. And build one here outside of range of the one thing. Uh, do I want to put it here? I, th I think that's in between, technically. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is in between. I don't want to pop the barrel before I have to. I can go ahead and just bop some of these guys off the map. Why would I pop the barrel? Ooh, I'm getting a little stuck, though. Now I can do it. Like, that's a huge little explosion. Super nice. 20 kill streak. There it is. Nice. That's the achievement I was hoping for. I can do it over here as well. Like, bop this into a huge crowd. Did it not explode? 
But I feel like the barrel actually didn't explode. Okay, they all get pushed off into the to the side anyway. That's fine. The sprint is actually really useful in the, the combat itself, which I didn't expect. Here, if I can push these guys back and then push them over. That's kind of funny. You can bop them like that multiple times. That's kind of fun. By kind of fun, I mean very fun. Let me bop this barrel towards them. If, nah, not even close. Don't have that much range. Okay. Solid, solid, solid. Is this the final wave? Wave nine? There's nine waves here? Let me get a heal here. Nine waves is pretty wild, I will say. Nine waves is pretty wild. Let's place another backup there. We'll do the same on the other side. A little backup over here. Place one there, sure. Ooh, more ogre. Okay, or orc. Orc? Yeah, he's orc. We're gonna slowly... I'm not hitting, like, any headshots, apparently. Man, he can... It's crazy that he, like, starts to speed up when he gets close to you. He starts to, like, lock in for that melee attack. Okay, perfect, perfect. That works. Let's head over to this side. If something's going wrong. Is there an orc over here as well? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this was the double orc. Okay, this was the double orc section. I see. That was smart to save it for the final wave. It works very, very well. But I feel like tower defense games have to do a good job of stacking mechanics. And I feel like this one does a fantastic job of, like, slowly stacking mechanics showing you how to do stuff then eventually stacking them all to where it's so overwhelming and scary but you can still but you but you man you learned how to manage it. you learn how to take care of yourself ahead of time all right but there is the victory and five stars on that map really happy to have gotten five stars on my first attempt on that map dude and i'm once again i'm loving the barrels so i have 26 skulls dude i've barely spent my skulls Lift traps are cheaper. I might actually do that as well at some point. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do the boom barrel. Man, I really, really like the boom barrel. I think it's a really, really fun weapon. It makes the game even more engaging. I really enjoy it with the wind belt. I wish you could upgrade the, like, wind belt, like, the like the actual weapons. Like, upgrade the crossbow, for example. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't like that my main guy does a split at the end of every... <laughs> I don't know why that's a funny celebratory dance for his style of character, but... There we go. Uh, next up is Lunch Break. I love the name of that, but that's going to be it for today. We did, actually, this ended up being like a pretty long recording, honestly. 2,300 orc kills. Don't worry. I'll definitely keep playing this game as long as you guys want to see it, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I'll play it on camera or off camera, whatever works. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video if it was enjoyable and entertaining. Dislike if not, that's okay. Subscribe for more Orcs Must Die and more other tower defense games. Just going back and revisiting that 2011, 2010 era, 2012, there's so many great games from then that I just wasn't able to play all of them at that time growing up. So I'm having a lot of fun going back and enjoying that era. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you later and play some games today.